and received a knighthood in the New Year's Honours List back in January. But after 40 years in the force, Orr has decided to turn his back on being in charge of the Boys in Blue to becoming chairman of the Boys in Blue. I accompanied Sir John on a typical day at Killy. First, it was to get fitted up with a brand new uniform. Hello. Good afternoon, Sir John. Nice to see you. Welcome to you. Yeah. You're fitting. <laughs> So, Sir John, presumably right. you'd be wanting a, a bit of good wear out of these European blazers then. Well, uh, that's an in interesting question. Uh, I thought you might ask that. Um, optimism is the name of the game. And I think when you embark upon a European campaign, uh, as we are doing next week, uh, measure the optimism. I think you get past one hurdle at a time, and then you look at the next one. Uh, we are very pleased that we're in Europe again. And I, I know that uh, it was right to the... Uh, the nth degree, I suppose, right to the cusp in the last game of the season when we qualified. Yeah. Um, but let's be clear, the boys are up for it. It's another uh, nice interlude for the team. Uh, it helps the whole ambience, not just to the club, but the team spirit and everything else. After getting collared, it was off to the gym to mingle with the players. This must be an amazing thing for you to be able to come into the, the training area for the club when you've been a fan all your years. Well, sometimes I pinch myself and sometimes a big pinch because you have to say, well, is this real? Um, I think as a four or five year old, to use a crude expression, punted over the turnstile with your father and your uncle um, and standing and getting soaked in pretty cold uh, circumstances. And then, albeit 50 years later, uh, which is a long time, but been chairman of the club. And this is one facility within the club that I'm very proud of. I mean, it isn't just used by the players, it's used by the supporters who are members. Now you're saying you came to the club with your father and your uncle, a yeah. five-year-old, and you were lifted over the turnstiles. Absolutely. So you did come on a cut of money when you were that age. Then. Um, somebody <laughs> asked me about, uh, that's an astute question. <laughs> somebody asked me a few weeks ago, well, uh, Chief Constable, is that not a crime that you committed? <laughs> well, my answer to that is quite simply this. I was under the age of criminal responsibility at five, <laughs> so it doesn't apply. That's my story, Diggy. That's a good answer. I joined the press upstairs while the chairman got on with the serious business of preparing for a press conference with commercial manager Jim McSherry and newly appointed chief executive David Heath. We get very good press support uh, at Kilmarnock and informality is the name of the game and I think it's an opportunity, you know, for me as the chairman or Jim or yourself David, it's mainly an opportunity for Bobby as the manager to introduce his, the, the new player and perhaps allow the player uh, to say a few words. And then basically we move from there to a kind of one-to-one -one setup, and it allows the press to ask uh, whoever they want to ask a question of. Can I uh, welcome everyone uh, again to a press conference here? We seem to be having quite a number of them recently. Um, I think that uh, this is another good day for us, and it's a day I think that uh, again uh, the board are supporting the manager and providing a new player. After the press conference, it was a trip down memory lane. When I was 19, I joined Kilmarnock Borough Police as a constable. And I used to walk around this very track. And the first time I ever had to jump over this wall, I may tell you, to arrest someone, and to use a crude expression, huckle them down the terrace. I had a wee pang in my heart at the time, because I thought, I used to not do that, but I used to stand not too far away from where he was, uh -huh. not that many years before. What are your, sort of, your fondest memories of your time here, either as a supporter yeah. or as a policeman, and not, uh, clearly not yet as the chairman? No. When I think back of the Eintracht game, and I was again in that same terrace, and, and turned round this club in truth, which seemed an impossible uh, uh, position to, to, to turn round, mm -hmm. uh, that was an incredible evening, and it was one that I'll never forget. There's a fans meeting tonight. Yep. It's the first time you've had the chance to meet them face to face. Yep. Um, are you in any way nervous about meeting them, what they might have to say to you, uh, what questions they might want to ask? No, no, I, 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 I cannot say that I'm nervous. I never get nervous. Um, what I do is get my head round why I'm there and what I have to say, but also what I can say to them, hopefully, to help them. Ten hours after our first meeting, Sir John was still going strong, and the fans certainly seemed happy to have another Bobby in a position of power at Rugby Park. Thanks for the ladies. 